All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we're going to be doing something that um, I've been getting a lot of DMs about Star Wars Jedi Survivor and people wanted me to rerun this again. Uh, ever since the 9950X 3D came out, which is what, a week ago, a couple days ago in stock. Um, I don't know, I've been getting these messages, right? So I was like, okay, I'll do it, right? So I'm done on the game now supposed to be done pretty soon so we're gonna do the same settings as uh, hardware unboxed at uh, 1080p epic and we're gonna go do the same run so we're just gonna do a same exact run he does in his video and we'll see what we get with our 4900 ks 8800 ddr5 cl 38 or 36 i can't remember 36 so cl 36 and then uh 4090 and we'll just um Go at it. We're gonna hit it and see what our numbers are. Now, if we look at the chart that Hardware and Box set it here, uh, it's very strange. Okay, I get it, 99.50 gets 244 FPS, great job AMD, great job X3D cache and all that. But if you take a look at the 4900K in his chart, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but it's at 164 FPS and 128 lows. Now, we no, nobody knows how uh, hardware box lows do go because no one knows, really. I mean, his lows are not accurate. But, um, and I think a lot of people know that already, that a lot of his benchmarks are just not straight up, right? But when you take a look at this 4900K, at 164 FPS, only two frames more than 5800 X3D, then you know something is wrong. Then you totally know. All right, now, right above that is 40 FPS <laughs> more, and you're looking at 7950 X3D, and then you're looking at 7800 X3D pulling more, and then, of course, you got a top dog here, 9950 X3D, Echo Mode, uh, 9800 X3D, uh, which is, by the way, good CPU right? I'm not saying anything bad. 9950, X3D, 235 FPS, and then you got your king of the CPUs, like he said, probably. I haven't even watched the video. I just actually went right to this benchmark and took a screenshot. And then, Actually, no, I am actually in the video. I didn't take a screenshot. But anyways, uh, 9950, X3D, PBO, 244, PBO. All right, so there's a little bit of tune there. Um, and then I, I assume he's running 6,000, uh, DDR5, one to one, which is probably the best. Honestly, here's the deal. I have a friend and my AMD build will be done, uh, next week. Uh, actually, I think that one to one is the best way to go. That 8,000, 8,200, 8,400, 8,800. Now, I actually had a chance to sit on his computer 9800 x3d best my best results overclocking was six was one to one uh 6200 one to one is he hit a really ceiling there um not a greatest chip but yeah anyways one to one had the best frames uh so if you're thinking 8000 will help you in a uh, amd's 9800 x3d no it won't no that's not platform for that i get it you know you can buy a new apex that came out x870e um yeah, too dim. Yeah, I get maybe 86, 8800, but in reality, I think you're just good as the 6,000, 6,200, one to one on AMD. I think it's way to go. Anyways, so uh, let's rerun this. Let's get our FPS. Now, remember, the highest here is 244, 215. We're going to try to see if our 4900KS tuned can match hardware box tuned. 9950X3D, or are we gonna fail in this benchmark? Let's find out. All right, guys, we're back in the game and we're loaded in at 1080p uh, epic settings, and we're just gonna get this done. Now, hear, hear me out. This should never be a CPU benchmark. There's two NPCs and there's nothing else. So now I'm telling you like this, hardware box, is using your CPU benchmarks in the total wrong areas. This should never be a CPU benchmark, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it because I want to. All right, let's do this. F1, let's record our frames and let's do it. 
Capture oh, started. Oh shoot, I never reset my stuff. Okay, so let's reset that quick. Alright, recording frames. Is it safe up here? Anyways. Gonna we're gonna smoke these two guys. And we're gonna go around over here. Whatever intel the senators got. Like I said, this should never be a CPU benchmark, guys, because because it, it's just wrong to do it. And I'll tell you many reasons. Ah, uh, which I already mentioned. Two NPCs is what you have to do. Kill two NPCs and then just run with nothing. I mean, you can look at it over here for a while, right? That's about it. And then you got two NPCs, which it doesn't matter. And then you're running here in a wall that he's doing in his benchmark, which you're just staring at that wall. And now there you're getting your 253 FPS there. All right, and then you're just running back. Now you got had a little drop there, probably game glitch. I, I, you know, I know this game had a lot of problems, but anyways, uh, we got our, you know, processing data. I think we got it. 234 FPS. All right, 234 FPS in this game on 4900KS 8800DDR5 running a CL36. All right, we'll get out of this game. We'll compare our numbers. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, if you watched my video, how I ran it, uh, you could have tell that I pressed F1 to reset my numbers while recording. So that actually was penalty on my testing, but we're not gonna take that into the count. We're just gonna go as a 234 FPS final run. Um, and let's just compare it. All right, so we had 234 or 235 here, 9950 X3D. That breaks us even. So which one is the fastest? Same, right? Um, I would probably have over 240 if I didn't do that. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it is what it is, 234, 235. We got 9800 X3D. 234 so it's like margin of error right and i bet i bet what you see here on this graph is they had to make that 9950 one fps more because they were told to that's how this media stream does that all right anyways where does this put us puts us well if you're looking at 4900k with 164 fps who is the winner uh, right i mean you got the eyes, you got the chart, you got the FPS, and you got the numbers. Uh, and numbers never lie. All right, guys, so um, you know what? This would be it for that one. I'm not gonna do this game again because um, this should ever be a CPU benchmark place anyway. I'd like to see this game with the more NPCs benchmark, which is the proper way, because this really doesn't tell us much. I mean, it's a bunch of textures, right? Um, and two NPCs we had to kill. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Uh, um, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna do some other games, but I just wanted to see, um, and revise this because I was asked to do it. Otherwise I probably wouldn't come back to this game. Uh, and that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.